What is up you guys and welcome back to my YouTube channel or if it is your first time here, welcome. So today I'm doing another Rider Wear review. I have reviewed a couple collections from Rider Wear and today I'm going to be reviewing the Animal Instincts collection and the Neo Nude. So before we get started, as always, everything that I talk about in this video will be linked in the description box down below along with all my personal links and my measurements for reference. So let's go ahead and hop right into it. So if you know me, you know that I am obsessed with animal print particularly leopard slash cheetah that is my all-time favorite so I was so excited to see that they released some leopard print in this collection because you can never have too much at least I can't so the colors in this collection are gray purple teal and the color I'm wearing right now is called rust so we're gonna go ahead and start with the sports bra this sports bra is $54.95. I got it in a size small. The fabric content is 88% nylon and 12% elastane. It has a peephole in the front, adjustable straps, and it also has an adjustable back. So you can wear it straight up and down like a regular bra or racer back. And it also has removable cup pads as well. So I am definitely a big fan of this sports bra, not just because of the prints. I feel like it is pretty supportive and like clearly it just like perks the girls up quite a bit. It makes them look pretty good in my opinion. I also absolutely love that the straps are adjustable in two different ways. So you can wear them straight up and down like this or you can connect it back here to make it a racer back. When things are super adjustable, I absolutely love that because not everyone has the same preferences and not everyone has the same body type. So it's super nice when you're able to adjust something according to your preferences and your body. I will say since this is a pretty skinny strap, if you do have bigger girls, it might not be the best option for you. Personally, I'm a C to D cup, so I'm kind of like in the middle. I would say I have like average size girls. Um, <laughs> but I find that if I wear something with skinny straps for too long, it tends to dig in a little bit and it can be a little bit uncomfortable. So if you are on the bigger side, this might not be the best option for you. But again, that just might be a personal thing. I don't know if other people struggle with that too. So I did just want to point that out. The next thing that I have here is the scrunch bum shorts. These are $54.95. I got these in a size medium because I always size up in shorts, regardless of the style, regardless of the brand. The fabric content of these is 88% nylon and 12% elastane. They have a cute little booty scrunch to make your booty look good on the back. They have a triangular crotch gusset and the inseam is quite short. I would say it's only like one to one and a half inches. So keep that in mind. And there is a top seam on the waistband. So personally, I'm usually not a fan of top seams on the waistband. I like seamless waistbands, but this, since it isn't too tight, it doesn't dig in to my waist. So I'm okay with this on these, but if it was tighter, I would probably not be a huge fan of that. I'm not gonna lie. I also, I'm just not a huge shorts person. I usually don't wear shorts to the gym. I just, I don't know, it makes me a little bit uncomfortable. I love wearing shorts for just like lounging around in the summer and I will definitely be wearing these around. But for some reason, I actually really like these to the point that like, I might actually wear these to the gym, which is saying something because I don't usually wear shorts to the gym very often. They are quite short, but on me, since I do get the size medium, they're not too tight. So I don't feel like my butt is gonna pop out of the bottom. I don't feel like a stuffed sausage in them. So I might actually be wearing these to the gym, you guys. Up next is the scrunch bum leggings. I got these in a size small. The fabric content is 88% nylon and 12% elastane. On me, these are seven, eight length. They have that same little booty scrunch that the shorts did. They have a triangular crotch gusset and they do have that same top seam on the waistband. So structurally, these are pretty much the exact same as the shorts. They're just a legging and y'all, I love them. I'm not gonna lie, I struggle with booty scrunches. I have not really found a booty scrunch that like actually works for me. Sometimes they're just plain awkward looking, I'm not gonna lie, but I actually really do like the booty scrunch on this. I think it makes your butt look Fantastic. And of course, since all of these are in my beloved leopard print, I'm just so pumped to wear them. I'm actually going to the gym after this and I'm going to wear the rust color because I think this color out of the whole collection is my favorite, which is kind of weird because I'm not like a super like orange girl, but for some reason it just does it for me. But yeah, these are super, super stretchy. The material I would say feels kind of like a thinner Lululemon Luan if you're familiar with that. Again, it does have that top seam on the waistband, but they are not too tight so it doesn't dig in. So I'm okay with it. As far as I could tell, all of these were squat proof. 
I typically wear nude seamless underwear or no underwear, so I don't usually struggle with squat proofness of things. But I also know that typically when there's a pattern on something, it helps with the squat proofness of something. And when there's a pattern on things, if you have cellulite on your legs, it typically hides cellulite. So pro tip, if that's something that you are trying to conceal or if you're worried about that, patterns are the way to go. So I also did get a pair of the solid leggings. So basically every color that is available Available in the leopard print is also available in a solid color as well if you are not a huge fan of the leopard or maybe if you want to like mix and match so basically anything could be mixed and matched between the sports bras and the leggings between the leopard print and the solid colors so these leggings are exactly the same fabric content price everything as the leopard but I will say since they are a solid color they can show a tiny bit of cellulite so again like I said if you're trying to conceal that I would go with the leopard so up next let's talk about the neo nude collection. So the first thing is the sports bra. I got the sports bra in black and tangerine. I got this in a size small. The price is $54.95. The fabric content is 88% nylon and 12% elastane. This sports bra has a crisscross back and removable cup pads. So honestly, I would say that this is just your standard sports bra. It does have that crisscross back detail, but there's not a whole lot of like design to it. It's a pretty standard sports bra. I would say it is medium support. This one is medium support as well, in my opinion. But again, like I said, if you're not a fan of skinny straps, this one has thicker straps to kind of distribute the weight a little bit better and not dig in in one spot so if you have a little bit larger girls I would definitely recommend a sports bra like this that has a little bit of a thicker strap so yeah not a whole lot to say about this I think the sports bra is cute I think it's comfortable I think it's just basically your standard sports bra I really like it would recommend it but yeah not a whole lot to say up next I have the neo nude scrunch bum bike shorts in black and tangerine these are $59.95 the fabric content of these is 88% nylon and 12% elastane they have that same booty scrunch that all of the other leggings do. They do have a top seam and a little pocket on the waistband and a triangular crotch gusset. And as far as sizing goes, I told you guys I usually size up in shorts, but since these are bike shorts, they're not like super short, little short shorts, I wasn't sure which size to get. So we got the tangerine ones in a small and the black ones in a medium. And honestly, I could go either way. The material is so stretchy that I honestly think I could go either way with these. So I have been trying to get into the bike short trend, but sometimes I just feel a little bit weird, probably because my whole family is cyclists. Like my dad is a cyclist and my mom and my brother do it too. And like whenever I wear bike shorts, I feel like I'm like about to go out on a bike ride. So I think they're cute, but I always feel a little bit funny when I wear them. I'm not gonna lie, I do like the black pair better because the tangerine pair is not completely squat proof. You can kind of see the tag when you squat down, so I would definitely, if you get this color, wear nude seamless underwear or no underwear. And I will say, the front definitely gave me a little bit of camel toe. So when I detect that, the squat proofness and camel toe, I always like to go for black because it kind of just like hides all of that. The last thing that I have here is the Neo Nude Scrunch Bum Leggings in the color tangerine. I got these in a size small, the fabric content is 88% nylon and 12% elastane. On me, these are 7 8 length. They have a large stylized rider wear logo on the left leg. They have that same booty scrunch as all the other leggings do. They have a top seam on the waistband and a drawstring on the inside. And they have a triangular crotch gusset. The price of these is $74.95. So basically all of the leggings in this collection are very, very similar structurally with the scrunch bum, the top seam. The only difference about these ones is it has that drawstring on the inside of the waistband. So again, since these are that tangerine color, not completely squat proof, and did give me a little bit of camel toe. So if you do get these, just keep that in mind. And if that's gonna bother you, go for a darker color for sure. I think that's another awesome thing about the animal print is it just disguises everything. It disguises cellulite, it disguises camel toe, it disguises any panty line. That is just why I am a huge fan of prints and specifically animal print. But anyway, that is it you guys. I hope you enjoyed this video. I hope it was helpful for you. I do have a Rider Wear discount code. It's just Shannon10. I'll put that right here and I will put that in the description box below as well. Please give this video a thumbs up if you liked it and subscribe to my channel if you haven't already. Let me know if there are other videos you want me to do, other reviews, other brands you want me to cover, and I will put those on my list. Thanks again for watching this video and I hope you all have a wonderful rest of your day. Bye.